Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here, then hi, I'm Charlotte and in today's video I'm going to be trying out some different styles of Topshop jeans. We have got straight, skinny, mum, ripped, white, loads of different styles and I will also be styling up each pair as an outfit to show you how I would wear them. Just to let you know, this video is in collaboration with Topshop which I am super chuffed about to be working with Topshop on this. Um, but obviously it goes without saying that I will still be giving you my honest opinion on the fit and the quality of each pair. All of the jeans will be linked below in the description box along with any other items that I star them with throughout the video. And I will also pop my size next to each item for comparison as well. Um, but yeah, let's get going with the first pair of jeans. Okay, so the first pair that I ordered are these mum jeans and I love Topshop mum jeans. I've got one pair from a couple of years ago that I wear loads. They're the ones with the ripped hems at the bottom. If they're still available, I'll leave them linked. I think they might be. Um, but anyway, I've worn those loads and I spotted these premium mum jeans and thought I would give them a go. And honestly, these are amazing. They fit so well. In fact, I'd go as far as to say they're the best fitting pair of mum jeans I have ever tried on. They fit so well on the bottom. They're a really nice shape, but then they also fit really well on the waist as well, which is quite rare. Normally there's a little bit of a gap or they're too tight, um, but these just fit so well. I love the wash of them and I think they'd be perfect for coming into spring and the denim's just really soft and comfortable. You know sometimes with mum jeans you sit down and they just cut a little bit, they just feel not the nicest. Um, but these actually feel really comfortable. I've just styled them up really simply with a black t-shirt, a black leather jacket and some trainers. It's just like a casual, easy spring outfit. Um, but I also think they'd look amazing styled up for a night out. You could tuck a body into them and pop on a belt and some heels just to dress them up a little bit more. And you could also roll them up a couple of times at the bottom if you did want them a little bit more cropped. Um, so yeah, this is the first pair and I absolutely love them and really recommend giving these a go if you're looking for a good pair of mum jeans. And then I also ordered the same premium mum jeans in this dark blue denim just to try out two different options and personally I prefer the lighter ones, it's just a bit more my style, I could see me wearing them with lots more outfits. Obviously these fit the same as the last pair although I would say that these feel ever so slightly smaller on and I don't know if that's just the denim just being a little bit thicker. And the other thing I forgot to mention about these jeans is that they are quite a slim mum fit. So if you prefer a looser kind of baggier fit, then obviously size up in these, and then you could also pop on a belt if you needed to pull the waistband in a little bit. Um, but yeah, definitely size up if you're in between sizes. Okay, so the next pair that I ordered are these straight leg jeans in a washed black denim. And I ordered these in a size 26 waist, which is a UK 8. Um, but they are quite small, like they're a little bit of a struggle to squeeze into. Once they're on, they fit really well, but just bear in mind they haven't got any stretch, so they're a little bit of a, yeah, just a little bit of a struggle to pull them up. Um, but now they're on, they do fit really well. They're a really nice shape. They cinch in at the waist, they're high-waisted, um, and again, give a nice shape on the bottom. And then they are slightly cropped. Now I've styled them up with some black heels just because I like the way that straight leg jeans look with heels. But then I would also style them up with a pair of trainers with probably this exact same outfit and just some simple trainers for during the day. Um, I've also got on a black blazer and a white t-shirt, keeping it really simple. And I love the way the kind of black blazer works with the washed black denim, just smartens them up a little bit. Um, and it's just like a really nice sort of smart, casual outfit. They've got a silver button, but then these little bits are copper, and I quite like the contrast with the two metals. So yeah, a very simple outfit, but just one way that I would style up these straight jeans. Okay, next up is another pair of straight leg jeans, and these are the editor jeans. And I actually already own a pair of these, very similar, um, but I'm pretty sure they don't sell those exact ones anymore. I'll pop a picture in if they have got them, I'll link them below, but I feel like this is kind of like the updated version of them. So they've also got the rips going down the legs, but this time the rips are kind of like covered with either stitching 
or more sort of denim fabric underneath them which does look quite cool and it is a good alternative if you want ripped jeans but you don't really want flesh showing through it kind of gives that ripped effect but without being too much again they fit really well but i knew that they would anyway because obviously i've already got a pair in the same size but they just fit nicely on the waist no gap at the back and they're a really nice length as well i went for the length 32 in these and they just sit above my ankle boots and i've styled them with just a black t-shirt this cream faux leather jacket and black ankle boots but obviously you could wear the same outfit with trainers or loafers or flat ankle boots if you'd rather and i love the wash of these as well i just think they're a really nice sort of bleached blue denim but without being too bleached um, but the editor jeans do come in lots of different colours so I'll link these ones below and then when you click on that it will take you through to all of the different colour options available. Okay next up is a pair of skinny jeans and I feel like skinny jeans aren't as popular as they used to be, everyone loves straight or mum um, but skinny a little bit like kind of pushed aside these days but when I put these on a minute ago it made me realise how much I miss a good pair of skinny jeans. These fit so good. They are under £30. I've never tried this style before. Um, I think they are the considered ones, but obviously I'll leave them linked below. Um, but they fit so well, and they are so flattering on the bottom. I know I've said that about the past few, but these are really flattering on your bum. They're just tight, and they lift it up a little bit. And yeah, skinny jeans are nice, aren't they? They are a washed black again, and they finish just above my ankle. Um, I've styled them with some black ankle boots and a black blazer again, just to keep it very simple. Um, that's just how I would style them personally. But then I think they'd also look cute with trainers or loafers, uh, or even tucked into like flat ankle boots as well. Um, yeah, they're just a really nice pair of jeans. And for under 30 pounds, they are a bargain. Oh, they've also got quite a bit of stretch in them as well. Not loads, they're not like super stretchy. You can still kind of feel behind your knees when I lift my leg up and kind of feel with a little bit of restriction, but they've got more stretch than obviously the mum ones or the straight ones. Um, so yeah, they're a really good pair of skinny jeans. Very flattering, nice and high-waisted, which personally I prefer a high-waisted jean just because it holds everything in place. Okay, so next up are these bleached straight jeans and these are the same style as the washed black straight jeans that I showed you before, um, but obviously these are bleached ones. Um, so they fit exactly the same as the other ones, they fit really well, they're nice and tight on the waist but there's no gap on the back or anything, they hug really nicely but they're not too tight that they dig in at the sides. Again, they fit really well on the bottom, they're like a nice flattering shape. Sometimes when jeans are tight, they can kind of squash your bottom a little bit, whereas I feel like these just give a nice sort of perky shape. Um, again, the perfect length. I went for a length 32 in these, and they just sit at the perfect place, just above my ankle. And I've just styled these up with this little black crop top and these black mules, just as a simple kind of spring daytime outfit. But obviously you could style them like I have the other pairs with a t-shirt and a leather jacket or a blazer. They look great with heels or with trainers. And I love the contrast of the bleached denim and the black with the gold jewellery. I just think it works really well coming into spring, summer. By the way, I'm really sorry if you can hear loads of background noise in this video. It has been chucking it down with rain all day and I needed to film this video today so I couldn't wait, but it's just relentless. It is not giving up. Um, so yeah, sorry if you can hear that in the background. Okay, next up is a pair of white skinny jeans and these are the Jamie jeans and I already own a pair of black Jamie jeans and they're just fantastic. They're such a good pair of black skinny jeans. So I thought I would try out the white ones um, just because I think white skinny jeans coming into spring summer look really nice, especially styled with like nudie, creamy beige tones. So these are the white Jamie jeans, although I say white, they're kind of like an off-white, which I really like. I feel like it makes them a little less harsh than white jeans, and they look a little bit more expensive being kind of off-white. The only thing I'd say about these ones is that they are slightly see-through. Well, they're not see-through, like you can't see your underwear. I've got black underwear on and you can't really see it. 
um, but you can see the outline of the pockets which is a little bit annoying but they are really comfortable they've got lots of stretch in them and again they're high waisted so they sit at a really nice point at your waist and give a really nice shape on the hips and the bottom as well so I've just started them up with this cream cardigan and cream mules and then I'd probably put like a beige blazer over the top or a beige trench coat or a long cardigan just to keep all those creamy neutral tones together but yeah I love the style of the Jamie jeans and if you are looking for a good pair of black skinny jeans then I really recommend the black Jamie jeans I'll leave them linked below but yeah they're just a brilliant black skinny jean okay next up are these paper bag style mum jeans and I was a little bit unsure about these ones when I saw them online. I thought, they're not really me, but I thought I'd order them anyway just to try out and see how they look on. And actually, I think they're really cute. I think they just look quite effortless, quite easy. Um, I've styled them with a little white body because I think they needed to be styled with either something tight or a little bit cropped just to show that you have still got a waist because sometimes this paper bag style can be a little bit unflattering if you wear it with something baggy on top. Um, and I think they look really cute starting this top. I think they almost look a little bit like, almost like I'm wearing dungarees folded down, if you know what I mean. It just sort of looks quite effortless, quite easy. Um, but then I also think they would look lovely with a black tight body tucked in and then some black heels on a night out. The only thing I would say about these ones is they've got these little darts either side and they kind of look like they're pulling a little bit on me. I don't know if, it's, if that's because these are a little bit too small for me. Um, but yeah, they just look a little bit weird, these little bits here. Um, but apart from that, they are really nice jeans. They're really comfortable. The denim is a really lovely sort of bright blue, really nice for spring. Um, and yeah, they're quite cute. They're not going to be for everyone because they're quite a sort of statement jean. But if you're looking for something a bit kind of cute, casual and fun, then yeah, I think they're quite nice. Okay, next up is another pair of skinny jeans, and I didn't realise when I was ordering these, but these are actually the same style as the black washed skinny jeans that I showed you before, um, which is a good thing because, again, they fit perfectly. I went for a size 26, 32, and they just fit perfectly on the waist, great on the bum and the hips, hold everything in and squeeze it, but not, not uncomfortably so. They've still got a lot of stretch in them. Um, Lengthwise, again, like I said, I went for a length 32 and they sit just above the ankle, which for me is perfect. And oh, just for reference, I'm five foot six, maybe five foot six and a half. Um, and I've styled them up with trainers, a black blazer and a white shirt, just to keep it really simple and a look you can easily recreate with these pieces yourself. Um, so yeah, that's the next pair of jeans. Not too much I can say about these that I haven't already said about the black ones but they are very good skinny jeans. Okay, next up are another pair of mum jeans, but these are the standard mum jeans, not the premium ones that I showed you first. And so there's subtle differences in the way they fit, but they are quite similar. Um, these are slightly tighter, I'd say. I've got the same size in both of them, and these feel ever so slightly tighter around the sort of hip and bum area. Um, they're both quite comfortable. The other ones, I'd say, are more comfortable if you wanted something you can sit around all day in, whereas these feel a little bit more restrictive around here. But I don't know if that is just because I am quite hippy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, maybe they're just pulling and maybe if I sized up they'd be slightly better on me. Um, but anyway, love the wash of them, love all the rips on them, I like the way there's one quite high up here and then two a bit further down. I know they're very kind of extreme rips which won't be for everyone, my mum definitely wouldn't like them. Um, but I just think they're really cool and I've styled them up how I'd wear them for a night out. So with a black body tucked in, some strappy sandals and then a black blazer over the top and I'd wear them like this out for dinner or out for drinks. Oh, and I've also popped a black belt on as well and gold jewellery to finish off the outfit. Um, so yeah, this is the next pair of mum jeans. Obviously they've got this style in some that aren't as ripped. So if you like the wash of them in the style, but not the rips, then I'll link this style below and you can see all the different options for them as well. And then the final pair of jeans are these blue straight leg ones. And again, I struggled a bit to get these on. I had to really wiggle into them. So if you are in between sizes, I would definitely say to size up in these ones because they haven't got any elastic in them, like sort of any stretch in them. They're very sort of stiff, 
which I do like in a straight leg. I don't like them to be stretchy because I think when they're stiff, they kind of fall better. Um, and once they're on, I do really like the way they look, but just getting them on was a bit of a struggle. So do size up. But I do love the wash of these. And I think that a mid blue pair of straight leg jeans are a really good staple piece for your wardrobe. I've just put them on with this dusty pink blazer and the black body, but I think they'd look good. Again, with a lot of the other items that I've styled throughout, like a black blazer, a black leather jacket, a long cardigan over the top. Um, they'd look cute with like little tops in spring. Um, so yeah, they're a good pair of jeans, but just make sure that you size up in these ones. Otherwise, you may feel a little bit restricted. Okay, so that's all of the different styles. I would love to know your favorite pair. If you did have one, then do leave a comment and let me know which jeans you liked the most. Um, as I mentioned, they will all be linked below in the description box and I'll try and pop them in order so it's easier to find which ones you're looking for. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't already, then I would love it if you could subscribe. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.